How's it going boys and girls? Now today, today is a very special day because I wasn't even sure that we were gonna hit the odds on these geckos even in this season potentially, let alone hitting the odds on the very first egg. Now that is something I did not see coming. What gecko am I talking about or what co morph combo I had that the odds are absolutely incredible on? Well, as always, stick around to see that gecko and a little bit about the story on how this project actually came to be. Let's get into it. Project all started last year at the last floor of Fauna. It's the uh, 2023 probably 2023 with me actually putting a hold on a cappuccino i knew i was this was when i was still upgrading my new cow game i really wanted to get some awesome crested gecko morphs the new stuff that was coming in and i figured hey man let's do, let's put the bucks on it let's get this cap i had a really good run at that flora fauna conference so i put down some money as you guys can clearly see here this this is not a cappuccino this also doesn't have a tail <laughs> weirdo putting the hold on the cappuccino that it was not coming home with me but i also knew that since that cappuccino was a male i wanted a lily white because obviously we're not just going to go and make cr craps <laughs> we're not we're not just going to come and make some cappuccinos we're here to make frappuccinos and so i also then purchased this lovely little juvenile uh red base lily white well juvenile at the time Bro, there's that frog. I, I have not heard this dude make a noise since the entire time I have him. And now it's only in videos where he calls like this. Richie was a good sport and he understood the, the, and he understood, he under, I said I was going through a rough time and he actually held that animal for a very long time. I believe it was like seven months before until I finally paid the whole thing off, which was, such a good sport. Richie is a really, really good guy for that. Fortunately, <laughs> there did come some bad news with that. God, where are you at? <laughs> All right, let me grab you and. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> Go! About the time where I was able to purchase this cappuccino is about the same time where the Supercap found out that we had some medical issues and they weren't a viable option to the fact where then the cappuccino market ended up crashing. So a, a gecko that I was on hold for seven months and paid off, I believe, uh, two grand, a little over, a little under maybe, uh, ended up being worth about, I don't know, maybe eight, nine hundred at the most. <laughs> This guy is a completely spotless cappuccino and has some nice creamy pinning, so it does up the value a little bit, but it was still a little bit of a bummer seeing the market crash on him. But it was still here. We had the lily white and the cappuccino, which meant, come on, man, let's, let's just run it because you know what? Even if the market crash, I'm not going to make money back on this thing. I still want to see some frappuccinos. That would just be absolutely incredible. Now, real quick, before we move on with today's video, I do just want to talk a little bit about Project Jungle. We just got a fresh shipment of plants in, and man, the variety we have going on is absolutely amazing. My personal favorites are going to be the Purple Passions, the Persian Ivies, and then, of course, the Crotana Crotons, Croutons. That's a food, Dakota. The plant that looks like you took a green plant and then splattered it with paint, that thing's awesome. A bunch of other cool stuff. The friendship plants are awesome. I have some of my White's Tree Frog enclosures and some other just really cool stuff. If you guys are in the market for plants, cleanup crews, substrates, anything like that, you guys know your boys got your back. You can check it out by going to dakotablueexotics.com or by using the link I have right down in there, the description. Thank you boys so much. I kindly appreciate it. Let's get back to talking about this amazing gecko. And lo and behold, because they are crested geckos, they bred, did the deed, and then I started getting eggs for them with all the other eggs that we have in here. So many eggs. <laughs> up getting a clutch from the red lily white to the cappuccino male so all it was next was a waiting game we had to sit around and wait for those eggs to hatch and see what pops out now the odds of the lily white trait and the cappuccino crate crate trait combining the, the odds are pretty low of that happening right i believe if you put it it's like a i don't know like a 25 percent. you have like a quarter of a chance uh for those eggs to hatch and then i mean for well so hot down here these days and humid, I, I don't know. 5% odds basically to hatch out a frappuccino from that pairing. That, those are how the odds work, more or less. By God, boys, the, the very, very first clutch. That clutch hatched out. First egg burst 
egg. I have a 25% chance of hitting those odds. And what do we do? The first egg that pops out. Well, <laughs> let me just go show you. Where are you going? We hatched out a Frappuccino on our very first egg that was hatched. This is absolutely in. Oh, oh was absolutely incredible. I was hoping at like maybe one point during this season we'd be able to hatch one out, but the very first try, and that's not the crazy part here. The crazy part is, is the entire clutch, both eggs were Frappuccino, which is absolutely incredible. It's funny enough, something that I found was also happening with my Lily Whites. I would either, the clutch would hatch out Lily White or the clutch would hatch out Norma. It wouldn't be like one egg was Lily, one egg was not Lily or anything like that. Fortunately, and this is like the hugest bummer, but I like to think of it as a glass half full instead of half empty. Uh, the clutch mate did drown in the egg, which was a pretty big bummer. We ended up trying to cut it out and trying to get it going, but it already passed, unfortunately. It was actually a, well, it was a better version of this one. It had a lot more white and the white was a lot cleaner, but um, hey, you, at, least, at least we got one, you know? Still a bummer, but just to hatch out this tiny little frat baby. First shot, bro. First egg out of the clutch of this pairing is this, this tiny little frat baby is absolutely incredible, man. To give you guys like what the difference is between the two. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any lily white babies on at the moment, but I'll try to show you guys like the difference between them. It, it's not the best example to show you, but here we have a little Lily Weiss is about a yearling Lily White from uh, First Class Gecko. So you can see how light the head is and everything and how bright it is, including with my lights that almost can't over, it's just overexposing the image, I'm sorry. Versus, you see the cap, I'll probably just get B-roll of this, but you see the head's already darker. It's, it's tough to tell with a yearling versus like a tiny little baby. I'll be able to show a better example once this guy gets a little bit older, but they're different. T t trust me, bro. Trust me. <laughs> I just figured out why I'm not, I wasn't able to get any like good shots or footage and why this thing looked so overexposed was because of this. This is messing everything up, but I'm not redoing this entire video, so. Oh well. When I make videos, it's called ambient lighting. It's mood lighting. It makes the videos just look better. I, I get people like, oh, would you breed in this dimly dark dungeon? Bro, would you rather the footage look like this or would you rather it look like, would you rather it look like this? Yeah, this probably doesn't, doesn't look too great, does it? It's not dimly lit in here. I swear, I, oh. Anyway, at the end of it, an absolutely amazing experience. I still remember last year we made this video where I was stoked hatching out my very first Lily White and then just one season later, boom, we hatch out a Frappuccino. I now, I know what you guys are thinking. That's gonna be Dakota Milfs. Nice. Well, I will say, it means frills. You sickos. Such a t-shirt designed by my buddy Tommy's Reptiles. You probably know Tommy is a bigger channel than mine. You know him from his uh, eccentric frill dragons and just the shenanigans that they get up to. An absolutely awesome guy. He was graceful enough to send me this shirt, so I really want to talk about it. Yes, I, I don't. It, it says MILF man I love frilled lizards. It's a cool shirt. Don't I look rocking in this bag? God, I'm getting chunky again. I'm so sorry, boys and girls. <laughs> Don't I look real great and fit in this sh It looks like I got booby. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tommy. Absolutely awesome guy. I love the shirt, feels great. I got the extra large because I like baggy stuff, but they come in multiple sizes in both men's and women's. If you guys want to comp your own MILF, man, I love frilled lizard shirt, uh, make sure to check a link I have right down in the description. It'll take you to there. He'll very much appreciate it. I'll very much appreciate it because over here, we're boys boys. We help our boys out. All right, let's get back to the video. This was actually done a little bit ago. This one was actually hatched out uh, around mid-June. I wanted to get some confirmation and like 90% of the people I asked said it was frap. There's like one or two guys that was like, mm, I don't know. I probably weighed a few on that, you know. That's the, the scalation right there. Mm, it's tough to say, but everyone else was like, yeah, dude, it's a frap, congratulations. So I think those other two were just being a little bit stingy. This is gonna be really tough. Uh, we did also hatch out this guy right here, 
It's tough to say. I might go with this one not being a cap. This is from our cappuccino to white wall pairing. A beautiful white wall. The issue that's throwing me off is the fact that it's pretty much a full pin. I think it's missing like one or two scales, so it doesn't make it like a complete full pin. So I'm not sure if I would call this one a cappuccino or not. This one I'm definitely gonna wait a little bit longer before like saying uh, if, if, definitively if it is a cappuccino or not. But, oh, but I, I am leaning more towards Towards that it's just a really nice full pin white wall, basically full pin. Why are you so jumpy, Jesus? All right, all right, all right. There you go. There's your, here's your B-roll shot. <laughs> I'm not pressing down on him. He can, he can leap. He just, he wanted to look at the camera. Woo! And there you got it, boys and girls. Another very exciting video of Old Dakota hatching out a brand new uh, mutation that we haven't done for. Not brand new, but brand new like for us, for what we're doing over here. Absolutely incredible. If you guys want to check out what the last year's really exciting thing was, which is me hatching out my first Lily White, here's that video right there. Or here's a playlist to keep you guys updated with Project 500, with this, which is us just having a lot of geckos and breeding just a lot of cool stuff. As always, thank you so much for taking the time in your day to follow us over here at Dakota Blue Exotics. I will see you guys next time, but until then, goodbye.